Oh my okay. God. Oh my Goddess. When you go out to meet Krishna in the moonlight night, your eyes fearfully move in all directions like bumblebees turning the whole forest into blue lotus petals. Oh. Is this person not to be seen by these eyes? Shall I repeat again? Yeah. Oh my goddess, when you go out to meet Krishna in the moonlit night, your eyes fearfully move in all directions like bumblebees turning the whole forest into blue lotus petals. Wow. Is this person not to be seen by these eyes? Notes. Every verse of Villa Kusumanjali shows the sweetness, sweetness of Srila Raghunath Das Goswami's love for Srimati Radhika. Each verse is able to submerge the practicing devotee into an ocean of sweet spiritual meditation. In verse 11, Sri Raghunath Das prayed that his head may be blessed by Sri Radhika's touch. In, ver in verse 12, he prays for the benediction of his ears to hear, to, to hear, he uh, uh, and here and there he prays for blessing through the eyes. So in, in this chapter, he is telling the eyes, this eye of the Kinkiri or Dasi of Radhika, who only see Radha, this eye is blessed. Because Radhika is teaching her eyes, even in the moonlight, her blue eyes. Mm. Her Radhika eyes is blue. Is only blue. Why is become blue? Because he is only thinking for blue. Radhika, Krishna, thing else. Even the moonlight time where the others can see, she dressed like that that nobody can recognize white dress, not dark dress she do. And she has only one anxious to see Krishna. Only one point that she is never is teaching to Dasi that way you have to be one pointed in for the goal. So, uh, uh, Raghunath Das Goswami, Rati Manjari, is teaching how she is one-pointed and she is teaching to Rati Manjari that you have to be, eyes has to be one-pointed. This chapter. Ear has to be one pointed, eyes has to be one pointed, feeling has to be one pointed. Then, how is going, feelings are going. 
Go on. Yeah. In this way, he hopes that all his senses will contact the supreme object, Sri Radhika's form, fragrance, touch, sounds, and flavor. Yeah. Because he can be served with the senses, the Lord is named named Rishikesh. Rishiksena Rishikesha Sevanam Bhaktir Uchate. The devotee makes his senses blessed by the performance of sadhana. In Brajvilap Stava, number three, it stated, I have become very restless by tasting even a single drop of the memory of the divine nectar ocean of sweet rasa. That is the Yugal Kishore. Although Sri Raghunath Das is eternally liberated, he still relishes the sweetness of devotion in practice. That shows how relishable devotion is even in the stage of practice, sadhana bhakti. And that some prem is already present even in that initial initial stage. The savor that comes from sadhana removes all consciousness of the external external world and all external endeavors will then be connected with the heart's eagerness to attain the beloved deity. Yes, I repeat. Eh? Dhyananda Maharaj will explain this beautiful subject. Shall I read again and then? Then everyone? Yes. 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 Yeah. I, I request to open the Spanish translation, please, Brother Ravi. That shows how relishable devotion is even in the stage of practice, meaning sadhana bhakti, and that some prem is already present even in that state, initial stage. The savor that comes from sadhana removes all consciousness of the external world and all external endeavors will then be connected with the heart's eagerness to attain the beloved deity. So this bus described how bhakti, even though we are in sadhana bhakti, still this bhakti is so flourishable from beginning stage. <coughs> so sadhana bhakti, there is a two kinds sadhana bhakti. 
The one is Bhaidi Bhakti. Another is Raga Nuga Bhakti. So Sadhana Bhakti, they say, uh, Sabana, Sadhana Bhakti, they follow a more or less rule and regulation. Their feeling is a little bit Aishwarya mood, or many times Aishwarya mood, means they are attracted by uh, Krishna's power and uh, opulence. So naturally, that devotee was very feeling of awe and reverence. But if someone who has contact with uh, Rashika Vaishnavas, like Raghunata Das Goswami, then more internally, more greediness, more hankering for the Lord, but more taste is coming. So then that devotee practice externally and also internally. Rupa Goswami say, Seva Sadaka Rupena, Siddha Rupena Chaturahi. So that devotee, internal feeling, internal rati, verbal is slowly, slowly increasing. That verbal is increasing, especially for our Ishtadeva. So, especially Manjari's Ishtadeva is Radha. And also Krishna's Radha's Moha. So, we, we fixing one point, our Ishtadeva, then we, we naturally do Seva externally and internally also. If we fix our mind in this, our uh, original identity called Swarupa, we fixing means our internal feeling is fixing for our Ishtadeva, then our external behavior, whatever we do, even work, or even take care of family members. Sentiamo. That's also become so much favorable. And every act is service of Radha Mohan. So then, <clears throat> then taste is coming automatically, even from beginning. So, and If we are, think we are doer, then that taste may not come or may come very little. But <clears throat> if we, we forget our ego, we, we discard, give up ego, and we fixing Ishtadeva and more taste is coming. So this Raghunata Das is worthy. His senses, all the senses, fixing one point. Rati Manjari, Torashi Manjari's senses, all the senses fixing one point for the Radha Rani, Vaseva of Radha Mohan. And uh, he showed us uh, how to uh, how to fix in our mind, our words, our, our activity for Radha Mohan. And this bus, I literally felt Gurudeva. Yeah. Uh, Pushpa Banaya Dimahi. Ah. So, Krishna or Radha using five senses, 
to, to, to attract uh, lovers. Mm. So Krishna using his senses, you know, and how I say, uh, fragrance, smell, fragrance, and smell, and touch, uh, see, hearing, and tasting. Krishna using these senses, this, this, this arrow of Pushpavana. Like, for example, Krishna, uh, Krishna's fragrance enter Radha's nostril, then Radha become crazy. If here Krishna's fruit sound, and then Radha become crazy for Krishna. Yeah. And if Krishna touch Radha Nani's body, and then Radha's kind of trembling, so much attracted. You know? And if see Krishna's Trivanga form, very beautiful form, then Radha Nani's mind was stolen. And you know, similarly, like this, and also Radha also, Radha Rani's fragrance enter Krishna's nostril, Krishna become crazy and pay obeisance to that direction that flavor is coming. This is uh, uh, Radha Rasas Dhanidis, beginning is birth. And also Radha Rani's sidelong glance penetrate Mohan's heart. Uh, no, no, no. La, uh, yeah, Mohan's heart. Then Mohan become crazy. And if Radharani touch Mohan's body, then Mohan like trembling. And if Radharani's Radharani's uh, other monitor touch next of lips, Krishna taste, then Krishna become become crazy. <laughs> so last time I told Gurudev a little bit story. Uh, we Gurudev used to say honey wine. Honey wine. Yeah. Honey wine. A wine, divine, and honey wine. <laughs> and uh, in Sanskrit, honey wine say madhubika. 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 It's kind of very tasty, you know, made by Brindavan's all fruits, different fruits. So that's that's a kind of wine, kind of wine, very nectar. So Brinda Devi brought Mohan. And please taste it. And some special glass like like this. And then Radha Mohan. A sea, she's a grass. And then Lord Mohan's face and you know body is is in, yeah deflecting on this yeah, yeah. Glass. grass. And then Lada's eye naturally go to Mohan. And uh, Mohan's eye naturally to, to, to Lada. There looks like lotus flower. You know, golden lotus flower and green lotus flower. Look. Yeah, look like, looks like. They are thinking, they did not think, you know, oh, there looks like, you know, a lotus flower, so beautiful. And then, and then, you know, and just seeing this reflection, Lada and Mohan become, you know, very much intoxicated. Oh, yeah, before drinking. <laughs> Before drinking, at first intoxicate, and then, then Mohan was thinking, "Hey, Radha, take it, take it. Please take Radha, you fast, because Mohan desire Radha's, you know, other that he want to taste, but Radha uh, is very shy. Radha did not." Uh, show off, you know, because very like this. 
<laughs> and then Radharani the chat the that's honey wine. And the Radharani it's just see, you know, just like this, this cup. You know, smelling, smelling, and then nobody see. <laughs> and a little bit touching. Manjari could understand, but message. Yeah, you know, fat, you know, Manjari could understand, and then Radharani gave it to Mohan. And then Mohan is uh, just see, you know, Radharani smell mm. because the body is like this, and. Uh, Touching. She in he could Mohan could understand what kind of taste there. So and then Mohan was so much excessive to drink. So like uh, what I want to say is Mohan want to Radha's prasada. Mm. Yeah. And Radha want Mohan's prasada. <laughs> so there are five arrows, there are they try to attract each other. Mm. So our manjari, what do we do our manjari? Manjari also, we are using these five senses and one-pointed, all sense we try to try to use for the server Radharani. And also we could see what they are doing. Because manjari is not to do a manjari seer. So, ma so Manjari could see, you know, what Radharai is doing, what Mohan is doing, and then they can taste more than Radharai or Mohan. This is Manjari's quality, good there. Oh my. Yes. Read more. Yeah. Yes. First, for loving devotion is the very life force of sadhana. And if one performs one sadhana well, this, fir this thirst will surely awaken. How eager is a person like me? Oh, sorry. How eager a person like me is for sense gratification. Even in my dreams, I see only sense objects. Those who do bhajan will think only of their beloved deity. Srila Vishwanath Chakravati Thakur describes the effect of prem on the heart of the loving devotee as follows. In the stage of sadhana, the devotee is still bound by hundreds of thousands of ropes of mindness towards possession, money, family, and friends. But when Prem appears, these ropes will easily become spiritualized and will tightly bind the devotee to the beauty of the Yugal Kishore. Transcendental yeah. forms, qualities and pastimes. Yeah. But can you explain something? How this actually works? How this transition actually works from material possession towards complete um, eagerness for for the loving deity? Yeah, 
<laughs> so we are conditioned so so we have naturally we have ego and we have a material desire means i want to and i'm enjoyer i can enjoy i'm doer i can do these things that thing this property is mine my wife is mine my children is mine my money is mine like this tendency we have <laughs> so even anantas bawaji maharaj he's sick that but still he's thinking oh i'm always hankering for material thing but we we should not think he is not this or even lagnata sometimes he disclose i have so many material desire i am so for and and so on but this siddha is so humble siddha is thinking oh i am lowest person i am not a poor perfected i am for longer way to go this is very interesting but the new fight body like us we are thinking oh now i advanced <laughs> <laughs> now i perfect <laughs> but the siddha never say i am siddha i've seen many great devotees they, they never say i am perfected i'm siddha never say like this so this anandas babaji represent to us and uh, show us the way so if we contact with rashika vaishnava someone who has love for ishtadev for example if someone who has love for radha mohan that love deflecting our heart like sunshine coming so if some mira is there then say mira deflect this sunshine so similarly siddha or someone who has so much prema so much lati that love prema deflecting our heart then we we get mercy this reflection is our mercy this association is mercy <clears throat> then our heart become more softer and more melted and that things we feel love for Radha Mohan, slowly, slowly. Then, whenever we have it, love, then our desire, our ego is decreasing. This is Gurudev saying, you know, two lines. One is material desire, material line. One is spiritual line, spiritual prema. So, if love increasing, then material desire, material uh, ego decreasing. So that's coming sadhu sangha. So if we have good good association and good good to uh, if we have humble mood problem if we think we are very high then then that love does not flow nicely. Say like water come from top to down. But if we think I'm I know everything. If we think I'm top, then love does not flow nicely. So we have to be very humble. And then love is coming go through. Then our advancement is very quickly we we could advance. So this this I I feel this is a so process of bhakti. So we need at first sadhu sangha no uh, sadhu sangha and then eh uh, ado shraddha little shraddha we, we need shraddha some face we need and then sadhu sangha then bhajan bhajan means love for radharani loving activity loving action will start in this our sadaka deha also a possible siddha deha also 
And then, taste is coming. So, this is very, very nice bus. How our love will kind of increase, manifest. So, we don't need to give up ego uh, artificially. We, we try to, to associate with Rashika Vaishnava and try to be humble position and try to serve him or serve them. Then slowly, slowly our, our love, our love is increasing. Then slowly and automatically this, this hankering, this ahankara, mindness, this is mine. I'm enjoying this kind of tendency become slowly, slowly decrease. <laughs> That's a humble explanation. I want to add one thing. Yes. The bhajana, bhajana make us because what make us clean, blockage to clean. Mm. Radhe, going voice, ah. cleaning, inside cleaning is a process through the bhajan. Yeah. Where I am blocked, it means, because sadhak, their heart will be always there. If I go to my spiritual body, after that, its covering is there. Yes. Right? Yes, we're there. So, sadhak deha will be there. But the sadhaka deha will be behaving in a kriya, action. Bhajan kriya will happen. When the really bhajan remove my blockage before I was doing for my benefit, some benefit, but now bhajan is happening in the behavior of love. Because of the Raska Sangha, is Kriya is changed, my behavior thinking is changed. I want to serve naturally, I enjoy to serve it. I want to give love and exchange with that. That Kriya will change, my behavior will change. Activities will change, automatic humbleness will come is naturally happening. When the bhajan increase and my bhajan kriya will start. Bhajan kriya start means my all behaviors are different. I will also feel that my vision change to see that. Then anartha nivirti, then anartha goes. If not, then anartha is standing in the head. Every moment is anartha. Bhajan kriya has to do. And bhajan kriya is only possible to remove by the bhajan. Ishtanistha. Ishtanistha is important. Ishtanistha. In one pointed istnistha is very important. Istnistha makes bhajan kriya. Bhajan will be happening because what is my goal? Goal has to fix. If I am a manjari, I have to fix in my swabhav that I am a Radha Dasi, my ist is Radha Rani. And when I fixed myself, then naturally I fixed my sister there, then I fixed myself this habit. And I see with that way every place to Radharan. Where I see, I see only to you. My thinking will change. My all behavior, negative, will become positive. 
that's a bhajan kriya that is the behavior then there is no anartha then this is coming more firm it is coming in gurudev before nishtha is not coming when this is changing is coming then guru nishtha coming ist nishtha coming sarup nishtha coming add something more Radhe. Every vision, every circumstances, you will deal with sadhak deha. Even in the office, in the home, in any circumstances, sadhak deha will be moved. And then, when the bhajan kriya is there, vision will change. You see your God brother, Jananda, is sitting in your front. You are from one teacher. Now you see how deep he is. He is helping in Japan. What I do? more than that and very fast because by mercy of kripa of rasika he changed his depths are beautiful he inspired me my dear prate the uh, nothing is outside to change it. then i am a doing a first it will happen love can change me love can change me without love with this uh, will never change anything love of yesterday will change everything my all things will change because of you that the goal that the meaning of life if i change by the mercy of gurudev and radha mohan you know my my guru nishta is fixed my radha mohan radha radha nishta is fixing you see and one thing is missing is nishta will fix not fix guru nishta will not do anything mm-hmm. because he don't know the goal goal has to fix and your asthai bhav has to fix that you are what you are you see the jesus example he say i am a son you are my father i am your son you are my father he never say god i am your son you are my father i am your dasi you are my swami this is not fixed how i will see this mm-hmm. how i will change this nothing will change i will do the same mistake if i am in non devotee stage or devotee stage that is sadhana and this is the really sadhana this sadhana is inner side is no necessary to change outside it has to change inside mm. the vision has to change thinking as well is the problem there is no problem any circumstances is not problem where how she keep what she do 
I'm happy. I have no problem because it's fair with me. I never forget you. You have many you can forget me, but I cannot forget you. Mm. That is frame. Na? When we do the love in material world, that is creating from A to B, B to C, C to D. This is the suffering I create. But when I will love my Dev, there is no suffering. Suffering is gone. And name, because I want to be with your name. I want to be with you. So I can only think for you, mind. Anandas Baba is some place he write, even in dreams, how dream. If my thinking is not 24-7 about you, I cannot dream. What I dream, what I think that I dream. This is mental religion. Mind has to change from thinking from A to B. Change your thinking. Material thing you want to think, you will dream material. If you want to think, Samani is today, we will dream is today. It's not coming because my Purva Sanskar is too heavy. It takes time, but I will do this, do this. I will think only for you. My old practice is bringing out to other places. Again, I will bring you this place to think only to you. That is bhajan. What is bhajan meaning? To keep my mind one pointed, that is bhajan. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes, Guruji. And what is clear in thinking that you do action? What is the problem? Serve to everyone. Kriya is serving. Why not I will service? I will not care. Why not I will care? Because she gave the circumstances to care me. What is this? she gave? I do. What's the problem? Yeah. Clear? Hmm. I add on the Jananda feeling that it works like this. When the firm face comes, then Ruchi test is coming, other feelings are coming. Ruchi, what is this? After? Asakti. 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 Rag, Anurag. Rag is one sided, Anurag is both sides. But what is the use of doing this material? Try so many times we do. One strive there is with your Easter day. Other man is also there. You can be man there in your in your feelings. Why not man is there? Lag is not happening. Without man, it's not become condensed. Anartha cannot stay. 
And an attack cannot go without this rag and an rag. Without love, an attack cannot go. Yeah, that. Yeah. We need the higher taste, Rudy. The higher taste is love. That's the point. So we are in your Lasik association only to increase that and to get the mercy. This is the gift that how to increase this. Everybody, I also want this. <laughs> When I morning wake up, 6.30, Uddhav is giving class to me. I was so ex excited to listen his classes. Wow. He says, some, some is loka, something I, rem I don't remember, because I'm flowing in that bhav, what he, I like, then I num forget the number. And when I search, I don't find the number, but I'm living in that power. So that is a very beautiful from morning to evening and evening again, Masika. So for the more time is going on. So we have to flow in that bhav in the mind has to flow that way to add we have to keep this mind because it can flow this way material way and spiritual way but sadak they have will also stay and sit their eyes also here mahaprabhu gives so great mercy there are go on very more subjects are there. Name rises like the sun, making the darkness of ignorance ignorance and the stars of all other human pursuits fade. Read again. Huh? Read again. Cream rises like the sun. Wow, this is rise like sun. Sun has nothing to afford, it automatic rising. The prem will come, it will rise like a sun, all darkness will go. And other darkness, other people are not near to me in dark. I am in darkness. It, to, it should rise in me that I can see it. I don't need to change others. I have to. I have to feel that sun will rise inside me, and my dark ignorance will go out. Nitya Siddha Krishna Prem Sadha Kavunai. Sundachit Sramanadi Karai Udai Udai means sunrise. It's rising like a sun. Sorry. No effort you have to do for that. Only you have to fix the point and be in love with that. And one day it will rise it. Why to bother for that? Hmm. And Gurudev, where is the sun at noontime? The highest point, the Radha Kund, there is meeting. Yeah, you then Rev is there in the meeting. That's the point. Mid time. 
<laughs> Meeting is the time, you see. And only the Sriga can see, others cannot see. <laughs> Who is in the Gopi Bhav, they can see that. And we go in the Adakund, if we have no Gopi Bhav, we cannot feel it. Gopi, Sakhi and Manjaris can see that. Right? That is the gift of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. To, to remove our ignorance. Really. We are fortunate here. We have a so great Saintly soul in between us is a gift, gift of Mahajans. Yeah. Prem rises like the sun, making a darkness of ignorance and the stars of all other human pursuits fade from the sky of the heart. You see, what we create the blockade, this will be also, in that sunrise it will be vanished. Why to bother for that? You cannot do efforts to more, more create, if you have a love for her, all will be break down. In any good life of sadhana, there must be some experience like this. Wow. This sadhak has to experience. This sadhak has to realize it. Only sadhak can realize. And this is Raghavati sadhana. And just now he said, Bhaiti Bhakti Sadhana and Rag Bhakti Sadhana. This is the difference. Mm -hmm. He said, inner sadhana, inner practice. Yeah. How many things don't I always miss in my life? But I never miss Radharani. Mm. Mm. Yeah, oh, this is the point. <laughs> this is this is the point. I know miss my sister. Love is Intense intensity of love is not coming. This is my mistake. The moment it will come, the sun will rise. The sun will rise. Nothing to avert. Nothing to avert. He is not a sadhan bhakti. Is a rag bhakti. Why? What I sadhana do? I am. We are living in the mercy, not in the sadhana bhakti. We are living, floating in the mercy. It rising, sunrise, because to give the mercy to the person who cannot as a Effort doing, dance and rise for that, those people. 
I, we have no efforts. We cannot do any efforts. We are crazy, mad. For you, I don't know what to do. My mind is absorbed in thinking of sense objects. You see? I am not enthusiastic. You, Bacha. My mind is thinking for sense object. My false ego is controlling me. My false ego will control, I will be there. Thinking for sense object is my false ego. Not my soul, not my sarup is there. I forget these things. I identify my body, and this is the work of the body to identify the false ego. He want to become boss of me, Kaliya. Kaliya Nag. Krishna is not dancing on the head of the Kaliya, so poison is flowing out from me. Is the nature of the Kaliya. My mind is absorbed in thinking of sense objects. I'm not enthusiastic to do bhajan. And I don't experience how insignificant this world is. I could not establish a sweet relationship with Radharani. Yeah. What kind of devotee? Am I? But Gurudev, against Kali, now we use Garuda. <laughs> we have big Garuda, red one. Yes. <laughs> yes. We, that we can to Switzerland with Garuda, and he is against Kali. <laughs> but we are, we are, we are following Gaura, not Garuda. Uh, right. Gaura. Right. Gaura. Gaura. Gaura means Krishna, and Ra means Radha. Gaura means always thinking Radha. Radha's Krishna. Yeah. Radha's Krishna. <laughs> because Radha's Krishna means my instant ever lover. Yeah. Yeah. Instant ever lover. Gaura. I could not establish a sweet relationship with Radharani. What kind of a devotee am I? An aspirant should rebuke himself like that. When taste for bhajan awakens, the material world seems like a burning forest fire. We love you. And the devotee weeps for want of the service of his beloved deity. That is bhajan. Weeping is bhajan. Weeping is bhajan. 
I how to weep with your name I am weeping. I don't want to weep for this material thing. I am weeping with you. Only you can help me. My Swami, show me the way how I can be close to you. How I can be your dasi. When the bhav will not become condensed, my saru will never open. I have to open. Only opening will come. My form when my feeling will become condensed for you. I cannot live without you. I cannot think without you. You are everywhere and for me everything. Srila Narottam Das Thakur sings, O Lord, O ocean of mercy, my body burns in the false network of Maya. And when the Lord asks, do you only want freedom from that net then? Then he says, no, not just that. Then maybe you would like to see me sporting, sporting in Vaikuntha or Dvaraka. No, Narottam answers the Lord. <clears throat> when will I... When will I attain the company of the Sakis? String flower guarded in Brindavan and hang them around Radha and Krishna's neck, being a manjari. Uh -huh. This is his prayer. Yeah. I will stand for them and fan them with a chucktail fan and I will anoint them their limbs with agur and sandalwood sentence and uh, on the order of the sakis I will serve them betel, betel leaves and I will decorate them with tilak and Sindur. I will witness their moonlight faces as they play their funny pastimes. Wow. And I will seat them on a lion throne. When will the day come that Narodham does sees these sweet pastimes? My mind yearns for their mercy. Yeah. Wow. So beautiful. Mundava. <laughs> you see? Yeah, I'm not a and Rupa Manjari, Rati Manjari, is teaching for our belief. This is the way. This is the way. This is the only way we have to come. Yeah. This is the mercy of Mahaprabhu. 
चैतन्य महाप्रभु दट बी ऑलवेज चैतन्य इन द योर योर स्पिरिचुअल फॉर्म स्पिरिचुअल आइडेंटिटी फॉर्म एंड इन योर डिवाइन सर्विसेस नेवर बी आउट ऑफ दैट if mind is going out bring back to them mind will practice because it will go out bring back to them. never try to believe him and that is the meaning of bhajan and then check this also your kriya your behavior this she is checking my guru manjari is checking what you behave how you behave in day to day moment of diff- different circumstances your kriya is moving or not moving is mercy is happening sadhana who, who grow in sadhana they have to pass with very difficult time and very hard time because many checking are there so these are the checking in our is spiritual life in a checking they check the circumstances check and make it perfect in our life we have to feel fortunate for that circumstances that we have fortune that more checking is there to make me perfect is a must is a must we are living in the mercy not in as a what you say sadhan bhakti we not want to effort anything we want to feel her mercy on the that's it and how to 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 achieve to only watch for to that month is only my love can change my love can change it's you my dear if no love is there change will never come to me no philosophy can change your love can change my life and this love come by rasika association my dear this book is also rasika association jananda is rasik gora sundar is rasik Subal is rasik, all are rasik city, and I feel so fortunate. Yeah, you also must see to me that I can myself. I am very doing mistakes many times by your mercy and blessing. I can improve myself. more more read something more very nice yeah at home before sri radhika goes on abhisar meaning a rendezvous the sakis ask her oradhi why don't you sleep a little before we go out sri radhika then says no 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 need i have to stay up the whole night sleeping will, will only divert my mind go yeah. so she sits up the whole night 
with closed eyes. She has to walk in the deep, dark darkness over the slippery path of Braj. So in the daytime, she throws some water over the courtyard and yeah. starts slipping and sliding around to prepare her, prepare her for the night trip. Before she goes, she closes all the doors and windows of her home. The Sakis ask her, Oh Radhe, why are you making, making everything dark? You cannot even see when you walk anymore. She radically replies, Oh, Ray, I'm just training myself for going out later tonight. When she see sees the picture of a snake at her home, she shivers of fear and terror. But later, when she's out in the forest path and she encounters a real life snake, she fearlessly covers the jewels on its hood so that her superiors won't be able to see her in their shining light. And she even covers the snake's mouth mm -hmm. with her own hand, afraid that its hissing will be heard by her superiors. That's how she is, sometimes softer than a flower and sometimes harder than a thunderbolt. Yeah. Yeah. Is only Radhika going on Abhisar? Going means Sar, closer Abhi to Krishna? No. The practicing devotees are also all on Abhisar. But their Abhisar is much slower than hers. We are on the way, chanting and hearing for 25 years, and we may think, what's the difference between my consciousness, consciousness now and that of 25 years ago? It is a parade, meaning an offense, and anartas, bad habits and attachments that make us move so slowly. When life is full of devotion, there will never be any storage of love of God. So shortage. Uh, so, sorry, shortage of love of God. Bhajan means to search for God. Uh -huh. Srila Jiva Goswami writes in his Priti Sandarbha, Devotion is not cut asunder by other topics or interests and it can also not tolerate other purposes of life. If by grace of Sri Guru, transcendental greed 
For this is awakened within the Sadaka. Then he will surely attain this relish. Bhajan means to search and cry out. Where are you, Radharani? Every individual soul is qualified to become Radhika's maid servant. Sri Radhika. Everyone is qualified. Yeah. Everyone. If I am qualified only to become a maid servant. Because everyone has a love. And this love is coming from her. And I forget her only. <clears throat> and I want to give, not to her, to others. To material thing, what we create. So everyone knows him. Even animal knows love. Even the plant knows love. All the creation knows about love. All can, they can feel love. And this love, he is the original love. Love comes from So, love. He is the source. Yeah. Every individual soul is qualified to become Radhika's maid servants. At the point. Only soul is qualified to become Radhika's. Not my false ego is qualified to become Radhika's. <laughs> no. Not my identified by the false ego. My material body, my skin, my senses is not qualified to be an Adhika My false ego is creating all nonsense to keep me in material world. This is the game of the false ego. Is a demon. Demoniac control. I am living in the demoniac control, so I am influenced in the false ego. And I, he become my friend now. Only the soul is qualified to feed it. When I will come to Chaitanya consciousness, Chaitanya means to be in soul consciousness. Then I am qualified. That is Gopi Bhav. Soul living and conscious with soul is Gopi Bhav. Identification change. My identification of material body and soul called uh, identification is changed to identification. I am living in all senses, body and everything, but when I will start living in the soul consciousness, my all activities will change also. 
in material body. Because the high bhav, fixed nature, is some other place. I am not ping pong. And when I am ping pong, then I have to suffer. Marginal. Right? Every individual soul is qualified to become Radhika's maid servant. You see, when I have to soul, soul is soul. He likes to go to super soul. Right? Yes. So soul nature to go to super soul to Krishna. So this is Gopi <coughs> Not Manjariva, because I, I am standing up to soul only. Still, my soul has no identification of my saru. So I am a gopi that I like Krishna. Mm. <laughs> soul like him, super soul. So it's natural. Without mercy of, of Dasi of Radhika, you will go Pivao or Sakivao. Still, I know practice Radha Dasyam and mercy not come from Radha Dasi. It's not possible. It's not possible. To change this mood, that soul will not like to super soul. Is a matter of soul like super soul. Is <laughs> a gopi bhav, gopi bhav, but indirectly this is the meaning. But we have to come to gopi bhav first, then go up. <laughs> And when we are in the false ego bhav, then very far, long way to go. Mm. I know I even started. Rade. It's clear why Jananda Maharaj you want to share. You can explain something about my time. <laughs> No, I My king. Sorry, I do mistake. I have to say, A, I start talking B. So my, I become useless. <laughs> no, very tasting, Gurudev. We are enjoying to hear from you, Gurudev. But you say that I enjoy, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> when I start relishing, then I say, go to Europe. Please go and meet with everyone. You are God brothers of everyone. They will give more love to you. And you can share your feelings. I learned from you, Jananda. No, no, yes. no. I learned from you, Gurudev. No, man. You inspired me very much. You all inspired me. My Gaurav Sundar inspired me. My Subal inspired me. I see his bhajan. His love and care. Yeah. Yeah. Read, my dear. Sri Radha is the embodiment of Mahabhava. Aha. Mahabhava. Radha is in body, one of Mahabhava. Highest feeling. Mahabhava is not only feeling. 
many layers of feeling come, then is the Mahabhav. Maha, 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 And one place I listen, Madanakya Mahabhav. Mahabhav, Mahabhav and Madanakya Mahabhav. Yananda Maharaj explained Madanakya Mahabhav. <laughs> This is very hard thing, difficult to explain to them, but uh, I, I try to give some hint. So, that, that we understand everybody to some extent. So we love each other, wife and husband, and lover and beloved. We may have boyfriend, girlfriend. But Lada's love is completely amazing. In Chaitan Charitamta described one, one, one story. So, Krishna has many girlfriends. So, and Radha is, you know, Krishna's beloved, most beloved person. So Krishna one day went to one, one, one girlfriend. But the girlfriend said, no, today I don't want to <laughs> enjoy yourself. No, today, sorry. No. So if say one husband and wife there, husband go to girlfriend and girlfriend say no. Actually, wife may angry. Why you go to girlfriend? I am your wife. Why you go to girlfriend? This is natural, you know, in this material. But in the Radharani case, Radharani is going to that girlfriend and beg, please enjoy with Krishna. So I become <coughs> your maid servant. If you know, I serve as you know, and I serve you to please you. And then you, if please me, then please enjoy Krishna. It's rather than doing like this. So, what, you know, how many ladies can do this? You know, it's very difficult to find that kind of lady. Only that. <laughs> Only my Radha. <laughs> yes. And also, in addition, say, Radharani with Krishna. So she's enjoying, but in one, one, one bee is coming, one Madhusudan is coming. Go, go. But the Madhusudan, you know, the bumblebee is coming back again to Radharani. So, and uh, you know, somebody said, somebody come, hey, get out. Get out. Matsudana, get out, go, Bambri B, like this. <laughs> and then one say, hey, Matsudana, it's gone. It means Bambri B is gone. And immediately rather than here, Matsudana, it's gone. Completely her mind was become crazy. Oh, my Matsudana is gone. Krishna is gone. Moha is gone. Completely mad in front of Krishna or on the lap of Krishna. Who can understand the kind of loving mood, you know? Krishna is there. But once hard, Madhusudana is gone, the complete Radharani feeling become crazy. Oh, where is my Madhusudana? Where is my Krishna? Where is my Moha? 
become crazy. So Krishna is watching. Krishna is watching the situation. Krishna is completely amazed. What kind of love Radha has? I don't have such kind of love. So, what, how can I understand that love? How can I taste that love? So, Krishna is wondering like this, you know, because Krishna is Supreme Lord, but Krishna is not Mahabhava personified. Uh -huh. So, Krishna wants to taste Mahababa and then, okay, I must the position of Radha. I have to steal Radha's mood. I have to steal Radha's color. <laughs> then Krishna become Goranga Mahababa. Go. So Krishna, Krishna is there, mm -hmm. but the, his mood is inside mood is Radha. Outside also Radha's color. Because he wants to taste inside and outside. So this Mahababa, this 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 Baba, Radha's real Baba, we can understand in Gora Lira. Without Gora Lira, it is difficult to understand Radha's love. This is Kabiraj Goswami telling us. So we may think, oh, I know Krishna Lira, I know Krishna. But actually, no. We don't know. So therefore, we have, we have to, we have to learn what Mahaprabhu's mood. What Mahaprabhu teaching us? Because Mahaprabhu want to taste and also after tasting with them amazing, Mahaprabhu want to taste for us also. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is Manjari Baba because only Manjari could know Radha's feeling most. Only Manjari could know Radha's feeling also Radha's leader. So therefore, we have to know Mahaprabhu Lira. Also, we have to know Mahaprabhu servants, especially Goswami. How, which mood he, he can get from Mahaprabhu. Then we also, we can get that feeling through Guru Dev, who is Mahaprabhu's servant, who is Radha Dashi. That is a teaching of Shri Chaitanya Charitamita. That's my understanding, Guru. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, oh, very nice. Good Krishna. Yeah. yeah. Read more, Bhaiya. More 10, 15 minutes are there. <laughs> very fun. More left? Yes, there's more. Shirada is the embodiment of Mahabhav. Will Maya drag me away from her? O Radhe, will I be lashed by Maya, being your maidservant? The practicing devotee feels as if he has fallen away from his beloved deity, and he will cry out, O Radhe, where are you? In this way, the heart will be squashed. Can Swamini ignore the eager prayer of someone who has given up everything for her sake? Taking Shyam by the hand, she will come to witness the devotee's loving activities. Krishna is astonished when he sees the loving endeavors of his devotees. The Lord is the relisher of Bhakti Ras, the honey of devotion. 
He told Arjuna in Bhagavad Gita. I will eat any offering or leaves, flowers, fruits, and water which anyone may offer to me with love. O oh, son of Kunti, whatever you do, whatever you eat, and whatever you sacrifice, whatever you give in charity, and whatever penance you may perform, dedicate, dedicate it all to me. The devotee is also very eager to attain the Lord's mer merciful glance. How sweet is the relation between the devotee and the Lord. When Srila Raghunatha speaks this verse, he sees a sweet pastime with his spiritual eyes. He sees himself at Tulasi Manjari, as Tulasi Manjari dressing up Swamini for her rendezvous in the moonlit night. To camouflage her, she has to dress up. She has to dress her up in fitting cloth and ornaments. So she dresses her in a swan-like white sari, anoints her body with white sandal paste, and ornaments her with pearls and diamonds, so that it seems as if Swamini merges with the moonlight. Yeah. What can I say about Ray's passionate love for Hari? Cupid is constantly awake, awakening in her mind. Her body is naturally shining with beauty, and she goes out on a rendezvous in a full moon night in autumn. Her body is draped in a white dress. Instead, instead of her usual blue one, and anointed with white sandalwood pulp. <clears throat> She puts white camphor lipstick on her le red lips. Her braid is beautified with a garland of kunda flowers and a pearl necklace hangs, on, os hangs and oscillates on her neck. A white Kairava lotus is placed in her hand palm and rows of sandalwood spot, spots are made on her jeweled bangles. In this way, she cannot be distinguished, distinguished anymore, just as the moonlight cannot be distinguished, distinguished from the moon, and water can no longer be distinguished from the milk it is uh, poured into. The shadow that accompanies every embodied soul in the moonlight or in the sunlight as an inseparable, inseparable enemy cannot harm her anymore, for the light has already surrendered to her, <laughs> saying, All right. For you, there won't be any shadow anymore. Mm. Opal does further sings. Thus, clever Gori means golden Radhika goes out, losing the strings of her ankle bells, so that their jingling will not betray her. 
Shri Rupa Goswami has written in Uchwal Nila Mani. It is as if the girl merges with her own shyness. She has stifled all of her ornaments and covered herself with her will as she goes on Abhisar with her loving girlfriends. Swamini holds Tulasi's hand and follows her, follows her on the forest path, fearfully, fearfully looking here and there and saying, Tulasi, I have no other shelter but you. Take me with you. Her beautiful glances. Who is standing? Huh. Swamini holds Tulasi's hand, mm. who follows her on the forest path, mm. fearfully looking here and there, saying, mm. Tulsi, I have no other shelter but you. Oh, Rani guy is telling. Yes. <laughs> wow. Yeah. How fortunate the in her hands. Wow. You can feel it. Yes. But now Radhika has a two seat. This is the Dasim House. Again, read, my dear. Yes. Swamini holds Tulasi's hand. And follows her on the on the forest path, fearfully looking here and there, and saying, "Tulsi, I have no other shelter but you. Take me with you." Her beautiful glances make the forest of Brindavan even more beautiful than the carefully protected, protected world of a newly opened blue lotus flower. The wonderful beauty of her eyes are as if awakening a flood of beauty on the chest of environment, environment's natural beauty. Swamini is afraid but Tulasi encourages her, saying, Come, come. Why are you afraid? I am here with you. <laughs> Srimad Bhagavat says, Fear itself, itself is afraid of God. But now, in the Leela, the Lord's very pleasure potency shows signs of fear. Furthermore, in the 11th canto of the Bhagavata, the nine Yogendras proclaim, fear is caused by forgetfulness of God, expressing itself in the idea that I am this body, making one afraid of death, disease, old age, accidents, and the lot. The Upanishads say, Oh, hey, you, meaning the conditioned soul, are the children of Amrita, the Nectarian Lord. What are you afraid of? But Sri Radhika is Krishna consciousness personified. And, and still she is afraid. Her eyes are restlessly going here and there. What a wonderful Leela. The pastime of Abhisar is unique. 
in Braj. Sita Devi or Rukmini Devi don't have to face such obstacles to meet their Lord. But Sri Radhika's love is secret and therefore more exciting and pleasing to Krishna. Swami looks at Tulasi, who makes, who makes her fearless. She feels consoled and silently walks on. Tulasi is Swamini's shelter. Blessed is this maidservant that she can render such a service. She provides shelter to Swamini, who is the shelter of Sri of Sri Govinda, and who is again the shelter of the whole world. Tulasi says, "I will bring you into the hands of He, who eagerly sits down, hoping to meet you." How incomparably beautiful is the heart of this maidservant. How unfortunate I am that I am deprived of this nectarian Radha Dasya. Although I know everything about it. I always identify myself with my material body, and I never think of myself as Radha's maidservant. I'm simply mad after profit, adoration, and distinction. Mercy is my only hope. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I never see a book like this, honestly. Great book. We love Kosumanjali. Radha Sudhaniti is the highest. So beautiful, Gordon. Wow. There is one request. Tonight, we have full moon. Wow. The moon is, is shining. Wow. And our Subhar was reading so nicely about the decorations of our Swamini. Wow. With diamonds Subha. and pearls. Subha. Swamini is full in white. And she takes shelter of our Tulasi. So we all together, this night, we can use the moon as a big mirror. Wow. And we can see all of us there in the meeting, in this big mirror, because moon see the scene wow. when they are in Vrindavan. And yeah. we we all together there, and we also take Swamini's hand, and we guide both to the meeting place in the full moon night. That would be so beautiful. Wow! Our meditation yeah. this night. Wow! <laughs> wow. We all together. Yeah. With your mercy, would it? With your mercy. We are all fortunate that we are in the home of Suva. Yes, we are very fortunate. Wow. wow. Very beautiful. Wow.
So Gurudeva, Krishna Nanda Prabhu told us one story. One, one of Bhaktivinoda Guru, very senior disciple, told him, uh, no, no, told us. Actually, Krishna is Krishna is Shisha of Radharani. That's true. But actually, Krishna is Radha Dashi's servant, he said. <laughs> because always Krishna asking to Manjari, where is, where is, where is your Swamini? Where is my Prana? <laughs> <laughs> Where's my, 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 my Radhika? So, Krishna is always approaching Radha Manjari. Wow. So, wow. he's really saying like this, oh my God, this is very nice explanation. <laughs> wow. Beautiful. Always he's asking from the Manjari. Yes. Wow. All past time is coming like this. Yeah, you think you see? Always rustic association gives something in place. Yes. You see their divine vision. Wow. Also, Guru Dev, one thing come to in my heart. I don't know it my wrong. So it's is full moon night. So usually Radharani wear white clothes, everything white. You know, like a, you know, like a chandan, and also flower, like kunda flower, kunda flower means jasmine. Mm. Actually, jasmine flower. So and made everything white. So this represent kind of you know like a, a moon moonlight also moon. Mm. So Radharani came from. <laughs> Surya, Bansha. And Krishna comes from Surya, Bansha. So, Radharani wears white, means Krishna, uh, you know, Radharani wears Krishna's kind of, you know, little bit feeling, Krishna's dynasties. Mm -hmm. It's because Krishna comes from moon, moon dynasty. Mm -hmm. So, that's, so she, she was feeling, oh, now I'm wearing Krishna's, you know, feeling, mm -hmm. then I want to see my Krishna. Mm -hmm. That also we may understand a little bit today. Here is my last what you are telling, because he wants to merge herself uh -huh. in the moon. Yeah, that is the one line. So well, just now we read, merge, that this is the sloka also, merge in the moonlight. Merge means merge in Krishna. Moonlight. Wow. Wow. Okay. Wow. Wow. Wow.